First of all, when we talk about data protection in the online gambling sector, um, it's important, I think, to recognize that we're not just talking about a set of rules that organizations uh, must comply with. Uh, it's clear, it was clearly uh, stated at the outset when the data protection reform uh, went underway at EU level, that the purpose of the GDPR was both to strengthen citizens' rights, but at the same time to actually provide a robust regime to enable the development of the digital economy. So for that reason, with the online gambling sector being part of the digital economy, the GDPR is very important for the sector in Gibraltar because it is also there to facilitate their development. Uh, in that regard, Gibraltar is home to the world's leading, uh, or arguably leading, online gambling operators. We've got William Hale, BWIN, uh, Ladbrokes, uh, Bet365, all uh, based there. One of the interesting um, things about uh, online gambling from a data protection regulator's perspective is the interplay of data protection law with a data-rich uh, sector uh, that uses uh, new technology, but also interplay with other pieces of legislation, such as anti-money laundering and gambling legislation. So, first of all, from a data-rich sector, the first point to make is that the sector, the online gambling sector, is growing at a fast pace. Essentially, it, well, 10 years ago, it was only 10% uh, of the total gambling, uh, UK gambling market. Now it represents 40%. So you can see there's, there's a huge shift from the land-based activity to the online uh, activity. That means that data protection is becoming more important. If you also consider the way that uh, making a bet has changed, it, make, it makes data protection even more important uh, because if you go down uh, the street to a betting shop to place a bet, you just go up to the counter, uh, you place the bet and you get a betting slip. No exchange of personal data takes place. Maybe your personal data has been recorded in a CCTV. However, if you place a bet online due to AML and other regulations, you have to register and you have to verify your identity. That may require them to ask for a copy of your passport. They will take down or they will record your IP address. They will also keep a record of every single betting transaction that you've made, uh, also taking note of the IP address and possibly a computer identifier. They may also uh, be required to verify your source of income to make sure that you can actually afford the bets that you're making. And they may also uh, record uh, whether you're linked to other accounts, either by uh, your place of residence, um, gameplay pattern, uh, IP or computer. So the vast amount of information is now being processed when you place a bet. Then you have to consider also that the industry is very progressive uh, using uh, new technology. It uses uh, cookies extensively. In some cases, it is required to connect its platform to a national database, which is used to verify the player's identity. That's the case uh, in Spain. That adds, obviously, data protection compl uh, complexity in terms of security, for example. Um, obviously, artificial intelligence is developing, uh, and it's something that the industry um, may use and obviously something that we as regulators need to keep on top on. Um, they extensively use mobile uh, applications or provide that mobile applications. And in the back end, when you are dealing with an operator, an operator may provide their own suite of betting products, uh, and let's say casino products, but they may not have a poker platform and they may not have certain other games. So what they do in behind the scenes is actually con con uh, con uh, connect to other third party platforms. So there can be quite a complex structure that's, uh, that's uh, operating behind the scenes. In terms of the interplay of data protection and other legislation, just consider, for example, the data minimization principle. If a regulator uh, approaches an investigation uh, in relation to an investigation and considers the data minimization principle, obviously uh, the focus is on making sure that as less data is being processed as possible but you need to actually consider their obligations under uh, gambling law. This actually requires them to record and elicit an electronic footprint of the individuals. Uh, they need to record uh, personal data, country of location, IP, computer identifier, and like I said, to essentially record a digital uh, footprint. So they are required to, to, to capture as much information as, possi as possible to meet their enhanced due diligence checks under anti-money laundering uh, legislation.